Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial for internal memory data recovery for Samsung Galaxy S3 or whatever the title says on YouTube. So this video has four parts to it, okay? There's preparation and introduction, downloads, installation, the process, and the profit. So I'm gonna put five annotations right here and um, you click to each annotation to skip to wherever part you want. Okay, so first things first, um, you're gonna have to uh, click the first link of this uh, thread to War Tickler's tutorial on getting internal memory data. The first thing you want to do is go to your phone. Okay, go down to settings scroll all the way down, hit developer options, and press USB debugging, and press stay awake, because um, when you plug your phone in, I really want to get to it right away, I don't want to go through the lock screen and everything. Okay, that's done one. The next thing you need, next thing you need about your phone is a rooted Android. So, go to this thread, this should be the second link uh, in the description. I am with Bell, and um, so I'm gonna download the Bell image of Jellybean. Uh, once I downloaded that, I follow this tutorial by going to download Odin, and then just follow this entire section, this entire section right here. Um, and s once you're done everything and you have no problems, stop right there on this thread. That's it. You're done with that. Okay. No need to do it again. Okay. So the second thing you need to do is you go to the the Play Market or Play Store, and then you go search for BusyBox. Once you download BusyBox, it should look like an icon like this. BusyBox free. Click it. Okay, um, just close this first pop up and then wait for this circular thingy to finish uh, processing. Um, okay, so it's done loading. Close the pop up and press install. Okay, and that's all you need to do. Uh, so the second thing you need to do is go to the thread, click CYGWIN, go to this section, it says use setup.exe. Just click it and then it will download for you. This is a terminal or a Linux based um, uh, application that runs on Windows. So they explain it as a Linux experience on Windows. That's how it is. Okay. So once you're done that, you have to go to Netcat. So you click click this link on his thread. Um, search wiki, press Netcat, and then click the first link. It should be you should download the zip archive. I should just link it to you on the description. Um, once you're done that, close it. Don't touch anything right now. Okay. So the next thing you want to do, go to the description. You should find a YouTube video. Click it, and then play it. This is a video on how to install the Android SDK onto your computer. So follow the entire tutorial. Uh, and the only thing you should download is the application manager and the SDK tools. So like these these things right here, the tools, pretty much that's it. Unless you want to download the Android platform also, like the 4.0.3 and that stuff like that. But you really don't need that for the Android debug bridge, which is called ADB. So follow the tutorial. Once you're done that, um, close it. And make sure... Um, you put adb.exe in your path. You go to a device manager. If you plug in your phone, 
Uh, right away, you should see Samsung Android phone. Click it, and it should say Samsung on Android ADB interface. If you have that, then you're good. You have done the right thing. Um, or you could go to a CMD. Okay. Um, the first thing you want to write is ADB and press enter. There should be a whole bunch of things. If you didn't, if you didn't have a whole bunch of things like this, then that means you didn't do it right. Follow the tutorial again, step by step. Don't skip anything. All right, that's it. Now, for the VHD tool, you don't know where to download it, right? So you just go to the tabs and click VHDTool.exe. And that should be that. Uh, once you downloaded it, just leave it. Don't touch anything yet. The last thing you need to download is Puri Form Recuva. Now, this looks ghetto, but trust me, it's a really good program. It helped me recover my photos. So, so press download, um, and then click pureform.com. Just wait for it, and I should start downloading for you. Um, and then uh, install that, and that's it for that. Okay, so now you have three tools. Okay. Double click setup.exe, press run. In the Warticular tutorial, he says only install PV and util Linux from repo. At first, I didn't understand what that meant, right? So, what I did was press down install from internet, um, put the root di directory at the same thing, and then this doesn't matter wherever you put it. Um, direct connection. Okay. Uh, I clicked the siege w i n mirrors hobbly um, available download site. So press next. Let's wait for it to download some stuff. And then I'll ask you to install what you want to install. Okay, now just search, um, press PV, and then it says skip, right? Click it once, and then it should show you the version. It says put as a bin or source. I just put both just in case I missed a certain item. Now, there's also PV default. I'm going to click source also. Okay, and then now for the next search you want to look for util.linux and they should give you a whole bunch of things. It says skip, press source again, it says skip, press source again, and that should be it. And then press next, select required, yep. Now, just wait for the download and install. This is going to be a whole long process, so I'm going to skip this part and come back to you guys. Alright, after you're done installing Seed Sigwin, the first thing you want to do is go back to the thread, go to uh, the first step, it says identify which block partition you want. Well, this thread is for Samsung Galaxy Nexus. We should go to... Um, okay, for Samsung Galaxy Nexus, their memory block is MMC blk 0 p 12 But for us, our user data is in MMC blk 0 p 15 And this information is um, <coughs> from Arcadia 3Go on XDA forums. So you just want to remember that the last two numbers, 15, is what you want for 
your user partition. So turn on your phone and connect your USB.